In today's video, I will be using the Southern Witchcrafts and Australian Private Reserve collaboration Gravefruit. We'll also be talking about my rescue dog, Nina. May she rest in peace. So, on with the shade. Howdy, y'all. Today is going to be an unboxing from Maggard's Razors. I've already opened it, so I know what's in here. It is the Southern Witchcraft and AP Reserve Grapefruit. The reason I opened it is I wanted to check some things out. A couple things on this that I would like to see that most other soap makers have. There is no ingredients on here whatsoever. I would also like to see, you know, what type of base is on here. I think that's something everybody should be doing moving forward. That is what the soap looks like. To me, it's not a bright uh, grapefruit. It's more on the, what would you say, musky side. Very soft. It is a vegan-based soap. And it's my first use of it. So, what we're going to do is, as always, the Familia Sagrada, Sagrada Familia, the other one. Going to dip it in some water. I do like the scent. So I'm going right into it. How has everyone been? Everyone have a good 4th of July? Everybody have all their fingers? From the fireworks. This is a vegan based soap. That should be more than enough. And get some of this other lather on the face. A little bit of water. <laughs> Trying to see if the scent changes any. You say I do like the scent profile on it. I am dipping the brush and adding some water to the face because it seems to be a bit thirsty. Looks like I overloaded quite a bit. Oh, on your ear. I'm going to shave the ears even though at my age I probably need it. I'm going to put some water in here so excuse the running faucet. I thought I heard soap dropping, but the reason I looked was like, man, this soap is real tasty. How could I be dropping lather? Gonna do the same thing. I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes building a lather, even though. There are all kinds of other YouTubers, wet shavers you can go to to see that. And just about there, I think. Oh, 
So like I said, it is not a bright citrus base. I intentionally did not look at the scent notes on this. But I do like the dark, darker scented soaps. We're going to go with that. I did not get the aftershave splash simply because I feel like I have some colognes that would pair well with it. As you can see, I could probably, yeah, I'm hydrating this a little bit more because on my face and on the razor, Excuse me, it's just not where it should be. Sorry about that, I don't want this to be a long video. But, it's kind of looking like it's going to be that way. Guess we'll see how much soap this thing will take. Next time I load this soap, I will not load nearly as much. We're going to try that when I ordered this soap from Maggard's I did not realize there were other options to where I could order this soap for and not have to buy anything extra to get free shipping. Kind of like with the last soap I got. Which one was that? Mm, I can't remember. Anyway, I got oh um, the uh, other soap I had mentioned I had bought from the vendor. But if I would have bought from somewhere else, I would have received free shipping. Soap is still a bit dry, could use more, but hopefully on this pass, we will get that remedied. Forty-eight hours of growth. Next couple of videos, I'm going to be talking about dogs. All right. I am a dog lover. really like Dobermans. The reason I'm bringing this up is my other Doberman, God rest her soul. When I got her from the rescue, I walked in, you know, and 
Just kind of looking around at some dogs. Her name was Nina, by the way. She locked her eyes on me, and wherever I went, that dog just stared at me. Even so much to where it was one of the volunteers at the shelter said, I have never seen a dog look at anybody like that dog looked at you. And the volunteer went on to kind of give a little bit of backstory. Apparently Nina was, I don't know if you want to say abused, but come from a challenging past. I really didn't want to know the background because I knew that if I'd end up with a dog, that she'd have, you know, good life. Oh, <clears throat> it was wintertime when I adopted her. And even as much as the heater coming on in the house, she would jump. And Nina was a hundred pounds rusting red Doberman with natural ears. She had a submissive grin. I'll see if I can't find a picture and get it on there. But anyway, Nina, when I would eat like an orange or something, she would just sit there right in front of me, just drooling and anticipating. And typically I don't give dogs treats. But the big old puppy dog eyes kind of got to me after a while. Because I mean, she would just sit there and just, oh, that has to be the best thing in the world. So the time came. Where I just want to give her a piece of my. I think it was a Clementine. You know, and I sat there, and as I go to give it to her, you could see the anticipation. She's like, This is going to be the best thing ever. She gets it in her mouth, and I start chewing it, and you could see. The sheer disappointment in that dog's face. Like saying, that tastes nothing like it smells. All right. Soap had good slickness. I'm going to get cleaned up. I will be right back. And I'm back. Just to recap, kind of the first use and impressions of the uh, Southern Witchcraft and Australian Private Reserve Grave Fruit. Um, citrus based, not very bright. It is a vegan based soap. Uh, there is no base on here there's no ingredients anywhere on the tub so hopefully the tub and the top cap kind of stay together you know i kind of dry my stuff out like that i don't have too much of a problem but you know i just kind of thought it was i don't know disappointing that there's nothing on the bottom half of the tub to designate even ingredients um, in my line of work that would be what I would call an area for improvement use the uh, above the tie SE1 sixth use on the 
Feather Professional. Yellow Yaki. Yellow Yaki. <laughs> All right. Uh, other things I got in my little Niagara's thing is I got some of those little washers. And I got soap on my hand. I got a little five pack of the Gillette Wilkinson sword from the saloon. Thought about maybe doing a Wilkinson sword black versus Wilkinson sword saloon pack comparison at some point. Speaking of comparisons, I will be wrapping up my Tree Platinum versus Persona Platinum probably early next week. Uh. What blades has everyone had, like, longevity success with? I thought about maybe for next month using two blades for the whole month and seeing how that goes. I've had luck with the uh, 7 o'clock black and the Persona reds, the Persona platinums. Personally, uh, what other blades has everyone had success with for extended periods of time? Like 7, 8, 9... Plus shaves, if any. All right, everyone. It's going to be it. Till next time. Be good. Be kind. Be nice to each other. Don't you be a pain in my booty. Until next time. Jim is out.